There's one more thing before ending the implementation of this online store. I want to organize the application in some way to have a root view and a root domain that will manage the entry point of the app. Product Clicks view has been the entry point so far, but it would be better to move it to a Swift UI tab bar that will be managed by this root view. This exercise will be great to remember TCA composition. Let's start creating the root folder and moving online store entry point there. Now let's create root domain. And from here, we will create the tab bar logic. For this demo, we will add two tab bars, one related to products and another one for profile. We will need to provide a variable that holds the current selected tab. Let's add that property to the state. Here we will indicate that first tab at startup will be products. Now here comes the interesting part. In order to display the product list we have developed in the TCA series, we need to hold its state here. To do that, we simply need to add another property product list state. That's it. The whole product list is right here. Now, what about the profile? In order to simulate that we are fetching user data from web, we will use this user from fake store and consume this user's API. We will care only about ID, email, first name, and last name, but I will leave it up to you. But before moving on with the API, let's create a user profile object in Swift. This will be the information, this will be the sample data for preview and testing, and let's add right away the codable conformance in order to read data from the web API. If you want to learn more about the codable protocol, take a look to the previous episode where we explored API client in detail. I will leave a link in the description. All right, user profile model is done. Let's move on and create profile domain. Let's add the first property to the state. It will be the user profile. This one must be loaded from the web. That's why we are assigning a default value in the meantime. Let's add the actions to fetch the profile from web. Remember that we need one to execute the async operation and the other providing the response. For this version of TCA, we will also require an environment object to manage the fetch user profile implementation. We will provide the right implementation in just a moment. Lastly, let's implement the reducer. If you have followed the TCA series so far, this might look similar to the way we fetch products from the API because it is the same process. All right, profile domain is done. Now let's implement profile view. I will do something real simple and it will leave it up to you to make this UI better. The only thing you should care is to show the email and user's full name. Here we are creating a store displaying the name and email in a form and calling the method that will fetch the user's profile. Lastly, let's add the preview to see the results in real time. Cool, profile view is complete. It's finally time to finish root domain. Let's add profile state. Now let's add the actions for this domain. Since both product list and profile have their own set of actions, let's represent them in form of cases. Let's add one more action, the one that will identify when user has selected a tab. Now in this environment, we will provide all the dependencies that our application will require to work. To keep things simple, let's copy the environment from product list domain. and now add the method to fetch user profile. Those are all the methods that will call the web API and root domain will keep them available to be distributed across the app. Now let's configure the reducer. Since this reducer is holding product list state and profile state, let's combine the respective reducers from those domains. We will use pullback to transform product list reducer in one compatible for root reducer. Remember that those environment properties are provided by root environment. Now let's do the same for profile reducer. This time, we only need to provide fetch user profile. Notice how the dependencies are completely isolated. Product list doesn't know anything about the profile and profile doesn't know anything about fetching products or sending orders. This is the power of TCA. Lastly, let's configure root reducer. For product list and profile, we don't need to do something here. However, let's update the selected tab once we got it. That's it, root domain is done. The last part is configuring root view, which will contain the tab view. 
let's add the store. Wrap the view in uh, with view store. And now create a new tab view. We will use the initializer with selection parameter. In order to get the selected tab, we will use the view store binding method that we implemented to morally open cardless view. But in this case, the value will be selected tab and tab selected action. Let's add product list and profile views. They will live in their respective tabs. And to be recognized as a tab item, let's add tab item modifier with image and title. Let's add tag modifier to associate a value from root domain dot tab that will help Swift UI to identify which should be the selected tab to display. And finally, let's fix the preview and provide mock data. Congratulations! The app now supports tab view, but that's not all. We now manage all the dependencies from root domain, which will make work easier. However, we cannot run this on simulator yet. We need to add the live implementation for patch user profile. Let's go to API client and add that. Great, now let's go to the entry point of the app and replace product list view with root view. There you go. But we can do one more thing that would be really cool. Instead of providing each parameter from root domain environment, let's create a live property. This static property will hold all the dependencies configured here. Now instead of supplying all the parameters, we can just call live in one single line of code. Let's run the app and see the results. Look how the app has to tab bar items and everything is working as expected. This is the power of composition. This, this is the power of TCA. This application is completed. If you have reached to this point, congratulations. Feel proud of the result. However, this is still more to explore in TCA. In fact, it's time to talk about the new version of TCA framework with reducer protocol, but that will be for the next video. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.